Hello newbies, welcome to my new video. In today's video, we are going to hack exploiting time sensitive vulnerabilities lab from Web Security Academy powered by Portswigger. This lab contains a password reset mechanism. So this functionality has a race condition vulnerability. So together we will exploit this mechanism and we will see how to broke it and then we are going to use it to get a valid password reset token for user called Kalos. Then we will change his password and we will log in as a Kalos user and then we will delete his account and we have a credential of Winner Peter. and also guys we have this note and as you can see, I'm using Perpsuit version of 2023.9. So if you have an out of date version, please watch my video about how can you update your Perpsuit and you will find the link in the description below. So guys, without further ado, let's hack. And here we go guys. So first let's go to my account. And as you can recognize guys that we have this functionality call it forget password before going to test it so let me activate proxy proxy i'm using community edition and let's go to proxy double click to enter set button and go to http history so now let me try to reset my password and here we go so let me enter the username or the email so in case that i know my target's username is called carlos i'm going to use my name so this is will be winner and here we go let's submit and now he said that please check your email for reset password link okay so let me go to my email and now he sent me this link contain a token for a security purpose so let me click on it and here we go and now it redirected me to a new page to reset my password so let me say one two three four and the confirmation password also one two three four and let me submit and now here we go let me back to my account let me try it so let's say winner and let's say one two three four and let me log in and here we go now i connected successfully let me log out and let me deactivate foxy proxy because i don't need it anymore so in here i scanned all the workflow of reset password mechanism and now let me check the endpoints so the first thing we go to the forget password page then we send reset password and then we send a request to change a password and then we confirm it. So let me send these three requests to repeater. Let me send the first one, the second one, and the third one. And here we go. So let's go to repeater. So in case that I don't need enter specter, let me close it. So in case that I want to be aware for each endpoint and its functionality, I'm going to rename them. So the third one, call it the confirmation. And the second one is forget password. So let me call it reset password. And the first one is just calling the page of forget password. So let me call it forget password. And here we go. Let me close enter specter. I don't need it. So let me back to confirmation and let me try to reset the password again. And here we go. Now he said that I have invalid CSRF token and this is absolutely normal. So this message can be a little bit trick because I have a CSRF and this is we call it token and also I have a value call it token. So this message isn't 100% clear. So I don't know if he's talking only for the CSRF or also this token value. So let me back to reset password and let me close enter specter and let me try to resend the request again and see. And now I do have the same message. So in here I don't have a token. So this is definitely means that the CSRF is invalid anymore. So this is why I call it this forget password page. So let me go to forget password and try to understand how this 
csrf token generated so let me send the request so if you don't know what this endpoint doing it's a just calling the page call it forget password where you can enter your username or your email but in here we will try to see if it's using uh, csrf hiding token so let me make it more bigger and let me search in here for the word csrf and here we go now this is the value let me copy it and let me go to reset and let me paste it in here and let me retry and see if it's valid or not and here we go so now i still invalid but i can recognize something in here i have this reset cookie so this is absolutely means that this php session id can be related with this csrf token so i can recognize that this cookie call it php section id can be related with this csrf token so let me back to get password let me scroll up and in here i have this php section id is absolutely different than i have so let me copy it and let me try to send again and check now I can recognize that this value is a change it and now let me go to CSRF and I think also this value is a change it so let me check it in here so let me paste the copy it PHP section ID and let me send and here we go now it works so this is a verification that this PHP session related with this PHP now let me go to my email client so I think this is it to my email client let me refresh and here we go now I got a new link to reset my password so in case that I know that the server is using a PHP so sometimes they use a thumb stamp to create this token I'm trying to send a collision attack with this reset password functionality and see if we can got the same token for the two requests so let me resend this to repeater again and let me rename it reset password 2 and let me try to create tab group let me select the first reset password and the second and let me rename it raise window and I'm going to choose red color because it's my favorite and let me create it and here we go so now I'm trying to make a single packet attack and see if this can work or not and here we go let me send let me check the response for two of them so the both of them has 200 status let me refresh in here and see so as you can recognize in here that they run it in the same time but each one of them have a different token so in here i'm going to use it another track i'm going to my forget password i'm going to send again i'm going to use the new cookie and a new csrf token for the second request and i will retry it again so let me copy php section and here we go now let me go to csrf and let me copy its value and let me paste it in here let me close interspecter i don't need it and let me resend the attack and here we go let me refresh now and here we go guys this is what i was looking for as you can see the two requests run it in the same time and also they have the same token value and now we can exploit that the reset password mechanism has a raise condition vulnerability so now what i'm going to do i'm going to use it for my target so let me go to reset password and let me change winner to carlos so in case that i know my target username i'm going to use it and let me send the attack and here we go now both of them have status of 200 let me refresh and this is the latest one and here we go now i got the verification link so what i can assume that this link also sent to carlos email so let me copy this token 
and let me go to the confirmation now. Let me paste it in token value. And also I have a token value in here. And let me change the user to Carlos. And also let me change this user to Carlos. So in here we have a trick. In the previous try, we have invalid CSRF token. So if I'm going to send this request, it's not going to work. And what I really need, I need a new PHP section ID and a new CSRF token. So I'm going to take it from reset password of Carlos itself. And let me copy it from here. And let me copy the CSRF token and let me paste it. And now let me send. And here we go. Now we have 302 status. And this is a good sign that Carlos password is already changed. So now I'm going to my account and let me connect as a Carlos. So let's say Carlos and password of one, two, three, four, and let me log in. And here we go. Now I'm logged in successfully. And let me go to the admin panel. And now let me delete Carlos. And here we go, guys. Congratulations, you solved the lab. So, guys, I hope that you learned something new about the race condition vulnerability. And please don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any question or any suggestion, please put it in the comment below. And stay tuned for the next videos. Bye.